Okay, we're here back behind one of the barns, and there's a 1970 CUDA 3 to 3 car hanging out. That's pretty cool. Next to a Chevy Dually. Over here is something cool holding up all the glass. He's also got some leaf springs and some stadium seats. But over here, this 1970 Plymouth Cuda. You're like, okay, nice car, originally limelight or sublime for the Dodge. But okay, you're like, oh, okay, nice. 70 Barracuda or Cuda. And then you walk over and check out, okay, automatic on the floor, bucket seats, yada yada. And it's a six pack car, BS23VOB, which means the V, it means this car originally came or still has a six pack, 446 pack in it. And it's holding up the glass for this guy's shop. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get around. Oh yeah, grill's still in it. Ooh, the old Borg Warner tune-up uh, cabinet. But that car's basically complete. I don't know why this keeps on going in the down position. But yeah, real six-pack automatic. Ooh, that's slippery. Cuda. Limelight, black interior. Floors are a little crusty. Ooh, it's got a Grand Coupe door panel on that side. They have the little, little lines right there. So that's like a normal one. The door panel is not for the normal one. Okay. Let's see if I can get around the other side. Because it's like a minefield out here. A few more Mopar parts. But yeah. This one's got a different fender. It looks like the hood and the fender are from a different car. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, and I can't jump that as of right now. But then, we're going to go in there. This might be the first video or the last video from the barn. Or from the metal storage building. Okay, we're going to start real quick going through my friend's one storage building that uh, has lights that work. And uh, he's got a few uh, engines. A few engines. And fenders and doors and a little bit of everything in between. You need a radiator? We got radiators. You need power steering pumps. Actually, I need the cooler off of that one right there. I'll have to remember that. There's fans and pulleys and intakes. All kinds of cool stuff in here. Starters and heads. Air boxes. Alternators, starters, air cleaners. You guys need an air cleaner? Oh. He's got a few really neat ones. Jack assemblies, power steering, or uh, power brakes. More stuff on the floor.
We got transmission. Oh, we got transmissions. Fenders. Exhaust for cars. Gas tanks. More engines. Brakes. And this is just the one room. Ooh, thermal quad. This is how you hold crankshafts. I think I can get around the other side here. Need some hoods. Oh, this side is open. Okay. Oh. Okay. And right here is that six pack CUDA holding up the glass. Here's fenders and steering columns. Plenty of steering columns. Plenty of fenders, too. Some seats. Look at all those are E-body. Bumpers, core supports, grills, 64 Dodge, wasn't expecting that in here, door panels, dash assemblies, seats, more trunk lids and fenders, okay. But this isn't really what we're here to see. Even though this is cool. We're here to see what's on the other side. Ooh. We're good, we're good. Alright. I think this is the best way to go. Oh yeah, there's also like 69 Charger grills right there. And some tail panel stuff, but hold on, I gotta move my camera so we can scoot through back here. This is the back side, but uh, hey, Seth, is the blue Challenger the six pack convertible? Okay. There is a, so that's the, the orange one's the six pack Challenger convertible and a 70 Barracuda convertible. And then literally here in my head is looks like a butterscotch Challenger, another convertible, I believe. Oh, there's a ton of grills. I don't know if you can see, they go back too deep. Same here, there's cars too deep. And they're all convertibles. I'll try to get, oh, there's three deep, my bad. It looks like a, I'm going to try to get, hold on, my Can you see down there? Sassy Grass Green Challenger Convertible. Another Challenger Convertible over there. And uh, we'll try to go around the front and see it from a better vantage point. But this is the six pack convertible here. Ow. And this Challenger Convertible. Well, I think it's a Challenger Convertible. Can't really tell. 
I thought these were all supposed to be convertibles. Well, it looks like it is. Okay. I'll turn this off and... Okay, so I came back around and here is the other side of those convertibles. This is a another 70. This isn't a convertible, obviously, but it's a purple 70 Cuda from the looks of it. Actually, this might be a 71 with the Plym by Plymouth badge on it. Here's a 70, it looks like. And then we got, like I said, they are three deep. And almost all these are convertible. That's not convertible. But that's a convertible. No, no, I'm wrong. I know that's a convertible 70 Challenger RT. And then we got a purple or a pink. Yeah. In there is a sublime green 70 Challenger convertible. Behind it was the 71 triple black Cuda convertible that I thought was a 70. Here's another purple. Looks like Challenger convertible. Here's another, looks like red Challenger convertible from that body line. And obviously this one's the 70. That is a drag car 70 Barracuda, or Cuda. And over there is another 71 Barracuda or Cuda. So yeah. I mean, they are legitimately stacked up like cordwood in here. Oh, there's also another Challenger back there. I didn't even see. Very cool. And a truck grill. And a 69 Valiant grill. Oh, and some bumpers. And some spare parts all over the place. Very cool. Okay, so I came around the corner. I didn't realize there was another convertible here. This one looks to have been a blue car at one point. I can't even tell if it's a Cuda or a Challenger the way it's buried in here. I'm sure my friend Seth will be able to tell me in here in a minute. And there's the drag car Cuda. And there's, I think that's a 340 Cuda there. And then, well, yeah, with the orange interior. What's this one, Seth, here? This other convertible? No okay, so we both have no idea because there's no back end on it. There's no front end on it. It's just got the convertible framework. Ooh, a bunch of stuff over there. So, yeah, some cool stuff. Okay, my friend Seth showed me a little passageway to see a few more cars that were in here. This looks like a 71 Cuda, but obviously we can't uh, get much past here. But you can see it's been sitting so long, like, it looks like they spray painted the wheel or something? I don't know. And this car is originally a Limelight 70 or 71 Barracuda, but the entire back half's missing. Really being held up by wood. And then this is a 70 Cuda, or at least it should be. And there's another 70 Cuda from the body line. And then it also, I'm going to see if I can do this. I don't know if you can see, it goes back two or three cars. Same here. Oh, there's a motorcycle in there. Oh, there's a few motorcycles in here. And there's... The pink, I think, we think Challenger. And there's another Cuda over there. So, yeah, that's cool. All right. Oh, this one got hit hard at some point. Real quick, here we just got out of the passageway to go see those cars. There's the drag car, there's the 71 again. And there's the other orange 70 Cuda. 
But yeah, some cool stuff. And right here, walked right past it to go see all the e-bodies. 1967 Hemi GTX. Which you can see by the VIN number. Has the J in it by then. So yeah, pretty cool. Normally when you walk up to a property like this and you see, okay, you have 170 CUDA. It's a 3 to 3 car, hockey stripe, really cool. Sort of by a whole bunch of spare parts. And then you move on and you see another CUDA. You're like, oh, another, you know, nothing CUDA. No, that's a limelight six-pack car. Blew my mind. And this was the beginning of our walk around. And then walking into the building, seeing all these spare parts meticulously placed and categorized. I mean, that's a wall of 69 Charger grills and all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, T8 340 six-pack Challenger fenders. And then to have the opportunity to look at those shelving units. When the owner allowed me to go through it with Seth, and he told me the history, and unfortunately he wasn't on film, he was just busy with other projects, but it was incredible. I mean, the forethought to put this together really was unlike any other storage situation I had seen in the past. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video from my friend's barn, and there's still gonna be one more video Unfortunately, I discovered too late that I didn't shoot the third building. And there wasn't a lot of barn finds in the third building, but it showed that my friend is actually restoring these cars. It be it slowly, but they do have the means to do it. So fortunately enough, I have pictures, which I'll add at the end of tomorrow's video. But this one, it still puts me into shock. I mean, if you saw the video... And how those cars are stacked on pallet racks, three high. I mean, I still, I've never found anything quite like that. I've seen cars and properties, you know, barns, fields, junkyards. I've seen them even, like you saw the Superbird Hemi video from a while back where it's in the rafters. But I've never had it where the guy thought far enough ahead that he planned that to have those giant racks hold all those cars. It's ingenious, I mean, and it works surprisingly well, but you want to talk about long-term storage, that's long-term storage. And uh, I'm currently in my garage in Chicago, where I just got home, and on the car it showed 15 degrees. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's going to be in the 40s, I guess, next week. And I'm going to clean up the green car a little bit. I need to start working on it, because... I signed up for Hot Rod Power Tour, and if I don't have the blue car going, or back by then, who knows if that's right it's going, um, plan B will probably be the Caprice, which I haven't driven in a decade, but needs to be gone through, or I can get this thing sorted out, but that's going to be a lot of money that I currently don't have disposable at this time, but we'll see. I'm going to start working on it. Let me know what you think. I also have plans to clean up the garage because it's a mess. But uh, I'm always taking comments and questions to make things better. You can leave them below. And I'll uh, see you all next time. Stay safe.